scrum. Good opportunity now for Rotorua Boys High School there with the uh, with the midfield scrum. Just a tackle, guys. And Rotorua Boys High School just slowly getting back into the game again. Uh, I want to say that sounds strange. They are actually leading the game, but they haven't had their hands on the ball. And they're just starting to do a few, few of the basic things right. The opportunities are coming their way. Get it back, guys. Get it back. High mode. Struggling to free it again, Rotorua, but Manaki breaks the advantage line. Tackle made. And another scrum. Tackle made. Tackle made. Well, hasn't number seven, Richard McCaw, had a very good game tonight. Maraki goes off the back. And he had, let's see how McCaw falls with him. No way was that ball coming back. That's good scrums, guys. Crouch, gauge. High most half. Maraki to Humphrey. The Steinen, the Steinen caught by his opposite number, Walter, no, Regan no, Walter, no, who got up there very no, quickly. No, the referee's playing advantage. To white. Humphrey. So, uh, is that the big number? Taking the right options. Certainly has. He's going to get another opportunity here as Humphrey gets it out to him. The Steinen coming in at faces uh, Matapa. Tango boys getting in there Lock quickly. The referee playing advantage. Back into yeah. Otago half. Tila Seppo to Levy. About 15 minutes remaining in the uh, Nike National School Boys final for 98. Good charge again by McCaw. Martin. Back to Blakely. Martin again. A little chip into the box. We don't see that very often. And a good following up by Otago Boys, putting pressure on Rotorua, and they'll win the throw to the line-out. Good kick indeed by Ryan Martin, the captain. Read it well. Yes, he did, and didn't Hamish Blakely do it well too? Took it up strongly there, and uh, but Martin putting the ball into space, and McCaw over the top. Otago Boys were lucky there. Perhaps it uh, might have come off an Otago Boys high school knee there into touch, but the touch judges uh, sees it slightly differently. So Seppo has a throw, taken by Ferryman. The dive pass from Martin back to Walter, back to Carwell. So the heavy traffic. Ball there nicely for Martin again. They're going to look blindside through Nosa, who straightens up. About 15 metres short for Otago boys. Levy, Levy breaks one. Standing in the tackles, just four metres short. Martin, Walter... McClintock. Was not able to be freed with a couple of Rotorua -Roo bodies in there. Some big rucking going in on their own men from Otago boys. Desperate to get that ball back. Seppo finds Ferryman. Just a couple of metres short, Otago boys rumbling. It's a try. Now Ferryman may come up with it. Yes, he does. No, I think it might be McCaw, is it? McCaw. Did he? I think, he, I think you're right, Greg. Richard McCaw has got his hands on it. Ferryman took it down. Yeah, great take yes, there. Indeed. Good take. Here's the drive. It was always going to be on. And there's number seven, McCaw. He's got the ball at the back there. In comes number ten, Walter, to put his... We waited behind it. That was enough. Here's the result. Martin barking at them at half back there. McCaw goes over. Well, a well worked move. Five all. And uh, Cadman inside the last uh, 10 minutes. Cadman's had a couple of shots. He's missed them both. But uh, he could be a hero if he converts this try. He's kicked well this year. Justin Cadman. Does not look overawed by the situation. Strikes it nicely. And pushed it wide. See, he hits it well though, doesn't he? And uh, he can't have been too...